And we're back to Photoshop's generated fill. Let me show you how you can improve the blend of generated objects with your photos. I'll just pick this example and let's say I want to add kind of like a shark right here. If you just do it like this, so make a selection with the lasso tool. Some results aren't that bad, but all of them, they definitely look like they were placed on top of the photo. So they don't blend that well with the background. Let me delete it. What you can do instead is to add a pre-mask. So we use this function right here. You can also press Q for it. Make sure black is your background color. Then hold control and press backspace. Now change the white color right here with brightness. It's 100%. Let me pick maybe a 10 would be too low. Let me try 25. Now use the brush tool. I'll make it a bit bigger and now I'll paint this area. So this is where the shark should be. Now I click on the mask again. This area is selected, even though we can't see it. Click on generate, add shark, and then we'll let it process. I'm just going to use this pre-mask and add it to the shark that I'm generating. But I believe this value was too low. So let me delete this layer. Let's do it again. We use the mask, backspace, while holding control. Everything is red now. Use the brush and we want to have let me try 60%. I'll paint over it again. I click on the mask icon again. This time we can see the marching arms. I believe that Photoshop only shows them when you have at least 50%. So that's why we didn't see them when I had the brush, the white color set to 25%. And now there was a better value. This one's quite fine. What you can do additionally is to use opacity for this layer. So I'm on the shark layer right here. And I go down a little bit with opacity. And around 50%, 60%, it looks even better. So you can combine these two methods. Use the mask up front, then generate your objects, and afterwards you may want to use the opacity and adjust it further. Still not a perfect result though, but it's definitely better than what we had before. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.